And joining us right now to talk about the political fallout from today's event, CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer. A long day today. We watched him formally charged, but it is not at all all bad news for the former president. Well, as a matter of fact, you could say that today was very, very good for President Trump because according to one of his aides, he just tweeted that the president took in $1.1 million just today. And I can tell you that starting 10 minutes after his plane took off, my, my inbox, my email box was flooded with um, applications and requests for money. For example, he's now selling these T-shirts that we just saw that said his, his picture on it and say, not guilty. And as you and I talked about before, he's selling it for $47 because he wants to be the 47th president of the United States and continue running. That's his picture. And that's the T-shirt that you can get for $47. And there was no mugshot yeah, there taken. was no mugshot. I was very say that looks to be a... Well, that's appeared what to be a mugshot, but there was no mugshot. Today. And if you look at the numbers underneath, it's just a date. It's just today's date. It's not like his his uh, height, height, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. height and weight, right? But in any event, um, it's a, it was also a good day for him because he can use the money to pay for his legal bills. Because now that he's an official candidate, the Republican National Committee is not paying for his legal bills, but. Nevertheless, you know, he does stand charged with some serious crimes, 34 counts of class E felonies, and that could be a problem for well, him. Well, you know, he says there is no case here, according to the former president. But why then would the DA even bring up these charges if he didn't think that he had a strong argument? You know, look. Alvin Bragg has to stand for re-election in just two years. And this case could be going to trial as Alvin Bragg is actually going to be trying to run for re-election. I just don't think that a prosecutor with 24 years of experience, a Harvard-trained lawyer, would bring a case if he didn't think he had a fairly good chance of winning. Now, you have to understand what happens in these cases. There's something called discovery. So he wasn't giving away a lot of the facts of the case right yet because he doesn't want to give the, the the prosecution, I mean, the defense attorneys, too much time to consider it. But you've got to believe that he's got some tricks up his sleeve and witnesses who will corroborate everything that he thinks he's going to do. After all, his reputation's on the line, too. His Marcia. reputation is totally on the line. Right. Thanks so much, Marsha. Okay. Thank you, Marsha. And do stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the arraignment of former President Donald Trump. You can get the latest updates on air and on our streaming channel, CBS News New York.